Hello everyone, this is Midwest Washing Equipment with a short video highlighting some of the details that go into our hydro mixer proportioning blending units. Here we have a hydro mixer XL, which is for the high flow, high GPM pumps, like your gas powered pumps. We put indicators on all of our valves, our water valve, our soap valve, and most importantly, our SH valve, so you know exactly what percentage you're running at on the soap, so you know where to set it. Takes the guesswork out of it, especially if you have new hires, new employees. Over here is one of our standard hydro mixer V4s. Again, indicators on the soap, water, and your SH. We also mount the hydro mixer securely to an aluminum plate, uh, both with the manifold up top, use stainless steel hardware. Here's the back side, and here's a standard hydro mixer V4. Again, two stainless steel screws bolted to the aluminum plate. We do the same with the valves, your main water valve and bleach valve are securely mounted to the plate. Here's the back side. On the XL valves, we install inserts in the back of the valves. So again, they're securely mounted to the plate. Here's a hydro mixer V4. Again. Four stainless steel screws securely holding the unit to the aluminum plate. These things get a lot of abuse going up and down the road, so they need to be securely mounted. It's safe. We use check valves that have haste alloy springs, which is bleach resistant material. Concentrated bleach or SH will corrode stainless steel. So if you have a stainless steel spring inside a check valve, it will corrode and it will end up in your pump or allowing your tanks to back backfill. So again, check valves with a haste alloy spring, bleach resistant. You have confidence that you're not gonna put metal pieces in your pump or backfill a tank. Even use a haste alloy spring check valve on the soap line, even though it's not necessary. Thanks for watching. See more at www.washingequip.com or give us a call at 317 390 4103.